Nick, Tom, and John here. Thank you for clicking this video. Today we'll be doing a color study for a uh, spray painting. I want to do it at a skate park. A two-part series. Little disclaimer, this is my first set of YouTube videos ever. I have made a handful of videos before, but as you can see, I'm rocking that self-isolation coronavirus. My barber's closed. Super bored. I'm going to make YouTube video haircut right now. So that's what's happening. Hopefully you guys like it. Woo! Just want to point out that these camera angles do evolve to better lighting and better shots throughout this video. Definitely stay patient with me here as I start learning more and more. I'm going to do a pack of wolves, but I'm only doing one right now. I want to draw one and figure out every mistake, what the colors are going to be like, and how they're working together. As you can see, I have the spray paint cap all laid out in front of me, and I'm trying to organize them on the page as I think through how I'm going to build this wolf. As I near the end of this drawing, I'm really starting to notice that my progression from mid-tone to my lightest color is a little dramatic. So I'm really glad that I noticed that now and didn't just draw three wolves all next to each other and make that same mistake. Okay, so I want to explain how I'm going to be explaining these colors throughout the process. Throughout this video, I'm going to be using like browns and reds and white and black. Um, You're never going to hear me refer to these colors to the actual color that they are. You never Never gonna hear me say this is gonna be fire engine red. The way we break this down is once we get our figures in there, our white paper or our white primed wall with this background color and this mid-tone. We're gonna be calling this a mid-tone. This is gonna go on white and this is gonna go on white. All these colors that are gonna be in our figure are built off of this mid color. First we'll be going to our third lightest light. Everywhere that is going to be our third lightest color or any of our lightest colors we're going to put this color down. So anywhere that's going to be light, we're going to put our third lightest color. We're going to go start shadow mapping with our third lightest color and our second darkest color. And we're going to put that down anywhere that is going to be dark. And we're going to trap our midtone in between these two colors. So anywhere that is not light and anywhere that is not dark is going to be midtone. Once we've completed this step, we'll be jumping from our, our second darkest color to our our second lightest color. This is when we're going to start putting in details. So some of the parts that are going to be lighter than this light. So we're going to start breaking our lights apart from our third lightest color. Once we're done this one, we're going to jump right back down to our darkest color, which is black. Here we're also going to use hash lines and we're also going to put down some, some dark lines in these characters just to strengthen the silhouette, just features that are going on in the wolves. Once we've done our black, we'll be jumping all the way back up to our white and we put in our final details here we're still doing hash lines for the fur and we're definitely going to be putting in some highlights as light hits characters this is the colors we're using these are all based off of paints i can get from the store other than this one which is, which is a mixture of white and my background color so let's jump into this drawing and go from there i'm just going to kind of throw down some main lines feeling out the shape and where some of these details features of this wolf are going to land always paint it attention to where I put one line compared to where I put another line. So it's always like a measuring system. How do they balance out? I always throw in my shadow mapping early in the drawing so I can use those as measuring tools too. You try to eliminate any optical illusion in the initial sketch it to a point where you can work with it. Just ignore this third wolf. Um, I didn't end up using him at all so he's not there. We fill in our shapes with our mid-tone color. We're just going to go right over top all this some of the shadow mapping that we did we can see through so they're not all that works not wasted so yeah we're just going to fill it in um usually we would fill in our background right now but at this point i'm still unsure about that third wolf so we're just going to go in with our third lightest light and just trap in wherever our light hits these surfaces now once that's done i am going to go at this point go ahead and fill in the background we're going to go in with our second darkest dark what we're going to do at this point is just anything that's going to be darker than what the mid-tone is is we'll fill those shapes and those lines and those areas in with this color between the three colors we have down right now we're starting to get some pretty good shadow mapping happening just a couple final marks on that uh second darkest dark before we move to our second lightest light is a mixture between white our lightest light and our background color i did this so our background color can come into our characters to make the two kind of harmonize as i mentioned 
mentioned earlier, I needed an extra step before I got it to my brightest white. So this was my solution. We're gonna go down to our darkest dark, which is black. And we're just gonna put in some of these final lines, hone in on trying to get some contrast, some dark darks, some mood and shadow. Like we're not looking for an accurate rendering. We want a very graphic rendering. And with the white, and this is my favorite part. I love this part because this really makes the drawing pop and it just makes it look even more graphic. And this wall I'm doing at the skate park, it's near a really busy road. They'll be able to see this mural and like instantly get what it is. It's three wolves. Yeah, work's done. Time to eat. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We only have to walk to the fridge to get food. That's like awesome. Like, I don't think animals have that luxury. They have to hunt every day for that. We just go to the fridge. They hunt every day, every day. We just go to the fridge. Doesn't seem fair. Mmm, what oh good? Chicken burger. Mmm, mmm. Onion, chicken burger and onion. Mmm, mmm. I almost forgot. Oh, we need to do the second lightest light on the first. What if we did? Clean these crumbs off my table. Uh, what is that? Mustard? <laughs> We're going to do that right now for you guys. I should have mentioned earlier, these wolves are agitated. They're pretty upset. I'm not going to tell you why. In the, the spray painting, I'm going to have a little bit of a background. Something happening by their feet that is going to tell you why they're so upset. So you're going to have to check out uh, part two to see why. Definitely like and subscribe. Uh, this was a fun process. Definitely looking forward to doing this spray painting at the skate park.